Hello, and welcome to this next episode of the Growth Strategist podcast. I'm delighted to be joined today by Hortense Le Gentil. Hortense, how are you? I'm very good. Delighted to be here. And it's great to see you. And hopefully I pronounced that okay. I Hopefully I did. Uh, you did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And we were both talking just a little bit before about the impact that the wonderful Marshall Goldsmith has had on our lives. And we might talk about him in a little bit. But first of all, just introduce you. You're one of the world's top management gurus, globalgurus.org. You're one of the top 50 coaches in the world. You're part of the Marshall Goldsmith uh, organization from that perspective. You're an executive leadership coach. And the thing that I'm most fascinated about, which is behind you, that, that your author of the book, Aligned, um, and it's about connecting your true self with the leader you, you were meant to be. And that's really what I'd like to talk about in a second. But, but um, maybe let's start, if you can just tell the, the viewers and the listeners a little bit about you and your background and how you got to today. Yeah, thank you very much for this opportunity. So I was uh, born and raised in France. And... Uh, I took, you know, I had several lives, so a lot of lives. So it took me a, a little time and, and it took sending roads to find my calling. So my first life was, uh, I was a show jumper, competitor. Wow. Yeah, it was my passion. So I learned a lot from there. And I studied marketing both in Paris uh, and in Boston. And, and I work uh, for large uh, companies uh, in France uh, in, the, in the communication and advertising media uh, industries. When I realized at that point uh, that I was not really anymore aligned and I was very far from, from my early dream. And, and what I wanted to do um, was uh, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I had my own company, do the thing, you know, the way that I, I, I thought was good and everything. So uh, at that point, uh, my next life, I began my next life. It was a big, big pivot in my life and uh, as an entrepreneur. Yeah. And don't be, don't be surprised, uh, but in the uh, metal recycling industry. Okay. So I run this company for 10 years and I learned, of course, a lot. And this is when I found my calling uh, because you know people came to me and other entrepreneurs and friends and asked me for advice and I realized at that point that you know helping others gave me energy yeah. and I felt you know joy uh, uh, in peace in fact you know very aligned uh, with myself and I said oh maybe I should do something about it uh, but for two, for three, two or three years, three years, I think I, I had two jobs, two daily jobs. So I, I was, you know, uh, running this company and, and I was beginning to coach, in fact. Um, and after three years, I realized that it was really my calling. So nice. uh, since that time, I, um, I am a fully, uh, a full, um, my full job is to be an executive coach. I was in Paris and I moved to New York uh, one year ago now, right. one year ago. Uh, and so, and I wrote a, a book about it. You know, my book, is this, that's why I wrote a book. Yeah. In the way, you know, I, uh, I found Marshall Goldsmith, as we, 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 we talked before, and, and, uh, and it changed absolutely all my life because he told me, oh, you have to write a book. I wrote a book, so this book aligned. And this book, you know, uh, you know I, I met people, blah, blah, blah. And I, you know, that's why uh, I am now in New York. So I yeah. am an executive coach for uh, CEOs and, uh, um, and uh, high-level uh, managers. Well, and I mean, so many, there are so many similarities between our journeys. I, I started life as a, a lawyer, uh, a, a commercial lawyer uh, in the UK and Ireland, and I've worked in, lived in Australia, and I've worked in Silicon Valley. And I was a legal counsel for Dell and for big multinationals. But after about 15 year, years, I realized that I didn't feel aligned inside. There was something missing. There was something missing. And, and then I became a CEO of an American company in Australia. But it wasn't until I started my own consulting, coaching, tra tra training, mentoring business about seven years ago that I started feeling aligned. But it was really the last couple of years most of my work now is coaching and mentoring. And, 
And I love, as you said, helping others, helping others, helping others to understand the things they don't need to understand in business. Because a lot of people worry about that. They think I need to know this and I need to know that. And, but I, I think like you, having had that experience in business, it allows us to make complex things seem simple. Would you say that that's kind of what motivates you? It's, it's, it's empowering others by making complex things seem, seem simple. It's allowing them to find their own direction. It's, it's really supporting and nurturing others. Is that what really motivates you? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's you know, telling people that uh, first, um, you know, they have to be themselves. Yes. And, and to be themselves is good. So uh, they don't have to, to know everything. This is not the purpose. The purpose is be yourself. Because if you are yourself, what do you think? You know, who you are, what kind of leader you want to be. Mm. Uh, so what legacy, legacy you want to, to, to have. And, and, you know, give you, yourself the permission to be yourself. And align that. So be aligned. This is what I mean by aligned. And, and align that with what you're doing what you're doing in your company and uh, mm. and so find your purpose and and align that with the purpose uh, with the uh, of the company and try to align everybody uh, in the company uh, you know yeah. through this purpose and so so that's the premise of the book your book aligned and why do you think so many of us and I included as well you know so many of us live this kind of almost fake life. You know, I, I thought for years that I had to be this cool commercial lawyer mm -hmm. and I had to be, you know, a real brutal capitalist. And, and I used to think in my twenties and thirties and early forties that it was weakness helping others, right? Why do you think, why do you think most of us are not aligned? Why do you think we're mo a lot of us are not aligned? Is it because we, we we're, we're undersold it as an important thing? Do you think we're just told that you need to be brutal and you need to be capitalist? Why do you think we need, why do people need your book? Why do people need your book to show them the way? I think because it, it needs a, little, a, a lot of courage to be yourself. Yes. Because, you know, when you raise your family, your education, your friend, your wife, your husband, your kids or whatever, want something from you and they yes. see you, you know, oh, I see you like that, uh, and you have to do that. Yes. And so it's difficult one day to say, okay, no, I don't, I, I'm not going to do that way because yes. I think that, you know, my way is different. So you, you take another road. So you don't take the regular road, the road that, you, you know, is prepared for you. Uh, for example, you want to be, you know, you, it's exactly like your father or your parents wants, wants you to be a doctor yes. or a lover. Uh, or whatever so your family is like that so they are they are waiting for that from you so yes. this you are raised like that and if one day you say oh no i don't want to be a doctor yeah your parents are disappointed so I you can. feel oh my god you know i you know they, they you want you know to please your your family and uh and so it, it's difficult it takes a lot of courage to say okay no i don't want to be a lover i want to be an artist yes wow imagine but 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 this is it this is exactly it because what i believe is i believe that we all have our own talent you can find your, your own talent very you know early in life so you're yeah. lucky but sometimes it takes time yeah and it's okay it's really okay yes. uh but this is i think this is really you know the what we have to find and when you find your talent okay you are aligned so you you will see that you will be you will gain of uh, joy energy yes, success yes. and everything so and and different things are coming to you yes and the good things good things for you to, yes. to evolve so yes. this is this is what i really think um and it's true for everyone it's yeah. really true for everyone so i know that i focus on leader but I think that everybody is a leader. You are the leader of your yes. life and you are the leader of your environment, your family, your friends. You, you, you can decide for yourself. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Now that's profound. And, and I, I 100% agree with you. I mean, when I, it's funny when I wrote my last book, which is called How to Be a Better Deal Closer, right? Marshall wrote the foreword to it. And 
a lot of people thought, well, this is just another book on sales and deal making and very arcane. And but my real intent, and Marshall found it when he wrote the Ford, was to demonstrate. You know the wardrobe in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. You know the movie, the the book. And these children walk into a wardrobe, and then they walk into this magical world, right? Yeah. That that's my intent was to demonstrate that yes, behind every deal, every transactions, there are human beings, and so. What I'm really talking about is self-awareness, situational awareness, resilience. And Marshall picked that out when he, when he did the Ford. And, and so, uh, you know, just moving on from that, the whole area, you talk about congruence, right? And, you know, um, the meeting of the connecting with your true self, connecting your true self with the leader you want to be or you are meant to be. That's more important. You're meant to be. Yes, meant to be. And, and I talk about flow state. I train and lecture in this whole area of flow state. And, you know, athletes, they talk about when they've trained so hard and they love what they're doing, they feel like they're floating along the surface of the, 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 the is there something around flow when people become aligned? It just, life just feels easier. Absolutely. This is exactly what I wrote at the beginning of the book is I take this example of a surfer. When you take the wave and you take the good wave, okay, yes. you are in the flow, you, you, okay. And, and you feel, wow, you feel joy. You feel, oh, I am exactly where I should be. Yes. And, and this is, this is very important. And this is really, you know, connecting your values, uh, connecting your driver. Your yes. why? Why are you doing what you are doing? You know, and 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 think about um, again what kind of leader I want to be, who I want to be, what yes. kind of leader. You know, what what I want. I have something that I just love uh, is asking people, uh, what do you want uh, you to be remembered for? And imagine, you know, the day, the day one day we are not going to be we're going to die yes. and at that day what do you want people to talk about you yes how do you want people to talk about you yes. so imagine your um imagine you know the the, the speech that day yes. so this is this is something very interesting to to uh to do because you you're obliged to think about okay what is important in my life what is important for me yes and and Absolutely. this is this is what I mean. Yeah. And this is, and this is exactly what you say, you know, it's exactly yes. when you, when you know that you are at the good place at the good moment, we all, you know, had this feeling at, at, at one point in our life. Yes. The way to find that sometimes it, it's longer. That's why, you know, I wrote that book to, to try to give uh, some, some tips to, you know, for, to the, for, for the journey and the, the journey to go there. Um, yes. Because if sometimes you ask people, oh, what, is your what are your values? What is your why? You don't have the answer sometimes very yes. easily. Yes. And uh, so you have many ways, you know, to, to go there. You, yes. you, could back, you, you could, for example, come back to your role model and say, okay, take you all your role model and say, uh, uh, why do you like these people? And, and you realize that you, you like these people uh, you re realize what are your values. In fact, when I yes. did this this exercise, for example, I I um, I realized I put my grandmother, and I realized oh, why I put my grandmother and my grandfather for different yes. reasons. But my my mother, my grandmother was um, very um, independent, yes, and yes. and my grandfather exactly the same was a, a little rebel, and he did the great things. But anyway, so and I said oh, maybe I'm a little like that too. See, yes. see, it's like a mirror. Yeah, that, that's really interesting because, you know, reflecting on my life, you know, I, as I said, I became a lawyer and I, w I was actually good at, you know, contracts. And I wrote a book on contract law about 20 years ago, right? I, that was my world then. And, um, but, but I always used to feel that it wasn't enough. I, I was locked away in an office and I was looking at documents, but I wasn't, but what I felt it was like there was something bursting inside me. I had this desire to explain complicated. So I'm good at understanding complicated things and explaining them. And then as the years went by, I felt that I wanted to explain them to help others. And today, that's what I do. So I coach, mentor, train, consult, and I try and help others by explaining complicated things and making them simple and, and demonstrating a direction. 
and it's the most joyous thing I've ever done. Like, I mean, I, every day, every day I look forward to doing this. But I'm looking, I remember back being a lawyer thinking how miserable I was, you know. And, mm. But it's funny, you know, we kind of create the, we, we, we self-impose these kind of, I, I was constrained in that world because, as you said, I thought my parents wanted me to be a lawyer and I thought other people wanted me to be. But really, it was me doing that. Do you agree? It really, it's up to us. Nobody is going to save us. We have to find that. We have to align ourselves. Do you agree? It's up to us. Yeah, exactly. This is what I think. So ask yourself the question, you know, to, you know, some, when a client says, what do you think? I said, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, but yeah, people say that, that, that. What do you think? So go back yeah. to yourself. It's always the same story. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. And so just in the last five or ten, five or seven minutes, the whole area of self-awareness. So I train and coach around the importance of self-awareness. And I talk to people about three areas of their life, you know, their, their, ex, their experiences. So their relationships, their friends, their environment. And then the second area then is growth, you know, their health, um, their intellectual growth. And then the third area then is contributions, you know, their career and their community. And, how important is self-awareness uh, to alignment? How, how important is, I mean, it's, obviously it's very important, but how, to what extent do you go into the whole area of self and situational awareness? Mm. So I think it's, uh, it's very important because uh, first you have, you know, to be self-aware, you have to know who you are. And to be self-aware, you need others. You need, you know, the feedback. So... Yes. For example, I, I, I can see you, you can see me, but I don't know what you think about me and what is the image about me. So this is self-awareness. Uh, you, need, you need other to help yes. you to be self-aware. Because sometimes it's very complicated to be self-aware by yourself. But you have to begin by that. And, and, and after, uh, to be aligned, is okay, this is my image. This is what I think. Who I am doesn't fit. Where is this, you know, where is the problem? Yes. And very often is that you think, oh, everybody likes like me. Oh no, nobody liked you. No, it's not, <laughs> it's not true. But I mean, you know, you know, sometimes you are very surprised and I said, oh, you try to be nice and you know, people, you know, think that, okay, you were not nice at that point. Yes. Oh, uh -uh, why? So this is for me self-awareness and, and it's part of the alignment. Yes. But again, I think um, maybe it could be a trigger, you know, when you do a 360 and yeah. when you have feedback and you say, oh, oh, oh uh, you know, I have, you know, a bad behavior here. Or maybe I, I had a client like that, you know, uh, she was absolutely not aware that she was, she, she was, she had anger, but a lot of anger. Yeah. And so she was always shouting and, and she was not aware. Yeah. So. And, and when people told her, and she, she always said, no, 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 not at all. And I said, okay, maybe, uh, you know, when 20 people say that, so maybe there is something. So think about it and come back. And after she said, okay, so maybe I have something. So we, we, were, we, we worked on her alignment again. Yeah. And, and it was a great journey. It, it, it was a great, great journey for, for yeah. me, for her, because and, but it was very difficult. And we realized that her, you know, her, um, because of course we are who we are because we are built uh, from zero to seven, say, yeah. you know, the That's neuroscience, right. yeah. not sure exactly what is seven or seven or eight, but yes. this is you know, when we were, when we were uh, small. So when we were little, what happened was we made connections. So we, we, we made connections in, in our brain and, um, and what we saw, what we felt. So we grow with that. Yeah. And at one point, uh, it doesn't help you anymore. And yeah. for example, for, to finish this example, um, she realized that, you know, when, when she grew up, her parents uh, uh, were at war, in fact. You know, they, they, yeah. they came in France because, uh, you know, uh, to, to be safe. And yeah. so they felt that. And, sh and, and they said always, okay, be careful, be careful. People are going, you know, Nobody is nice and something could happen. Yeah. It was insecurity, but she didn't realize. 
Yes. So, and she continued to grow like that. Yeah. And she was the nicest person on earth, but nobody knew. Yes. Yes. And the, yeah. That's the missed opportunity. And I think the imposter syndrome in people as well. I've, I've had that in my life. You know, I, I've been very successful as a lawyer and I've written books and as a, a CEO. And, but, but I've never really, I, I now talk and I train around what I call matching your confidence with your capability, matching confidence with capability. So I always had capability, but didn't have the confidence. And, and then, you know, somebody like Marshall Goldsmith came along. I had this perception that, that corporate coaches had to be clean shaven and, you know, a tie. And then he comes along with this white beard. And, <laughs> and today I have a white beard because this is me. I used to be really clean shaven and the, yeah. but this is me. And anyway, so just wrapping up, you know, this whole area, this year has been a real circuit breaker. I mean, it's been a challenging year for the world. And how do you think that what's happening in the world may change? Will it make people more aligned or less aligned? Do you think there will be more alignment coming out of what's going on in the world? That's, I think that, you know, this COVID uh, accelerates change. So, uh, go another day for superheroes, CEOs, and everybody knows and um, knows everything about everything and has have all the answers. So yes. it's absolutely gone. So yes. uh, it's not now a restart; uh, it's really a reset. So yes. how yes. reimagine uh, organization and reimagine yourself very often. Yeah. So what I think is, it's time to be aligned. So I think uh, that. You know, and we see that we can see that the leader of today, uh, and in this time of crisis, we are yeah. more human because the first things were, wow, uh, what 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 I'm going to do with my with, with my, my my employees, my salaries. So they had to de decide in in three days. Oh, for example, one of my clients uh, to decide in three days. Oh, how can I do to I have to uh, close you know the stores uh, because the 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 only thing she had in mind was security of the employees. Yes. That's all. So human, the human side, the humanity is, is, is going to be first. So what I, what, I, um, uh, what I call the alignment of alignments in my book is that. Is, so the connection with people uh, and the sense of purpose Mm. is you know leading with a sense of purpose is now yes. you know uh, in the middle of what 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 happened and what changed uh, to inspire inspire uh, other to align with the purpose yes so and you know this link with people you know what's happened during the crisis was mm. you know you you kept eye contact you communicate you know so very often daily basis yes. uh, uh, and you are authentic Yes. You don't say that, oh, everybody, everything is going to be okay, and you don't lie. You, yes. accept, uh, you accept to be vulnerable, vulnerable as a leader, yes. and you say, okay, I don't know, because I don't know what I don't know. Yes. And we don't know. So, but, okay, let's focus on what we know. Yes. What we know is we're going to do that, 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 and you listen. You listen much, much more. So I, one of my clients did, you know, for example, um, happy hours every uh, twice a week yeah. just to make people you know think and uh, and and talk and share and to see if they are safe or not if they need something at home whatever so yeah. again the human side uh, is increasing so yeah. and, and to be human you have to stop yeah. and to think one minute of yourself and say okay what leader I want to be you know yeah. what difference I want to make you know, yes. how can I help? And this is not useful. But this, sorry, this is not, they are not used to do it, you yes. know? Yes. So before they never do, did it, you know, they say, okay, we do that, 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 blah, blah, blah. So in that way, see, and they have to be resilient and of course, visioner. And to be yeah. visioner, it's the same. You have to be aligned. Yes. Because to be, you know, when you are aligned, you don't fight against, against something in yourself, inside mm -hmm. yourself. So yes. uh, you are in the flow, as you say. Yes. And when you are in the flow, you can listen to your instinct. You can listen to uh, Absolutely. 
this right brain who is going to tell you, okay, okay, I connect with people, yes. I feel something, okay, yes. I think I should do that. Because again, there is no playbook. No, absolutely. We are creating, no. you know, every day, every minute, a new world, a new, new way to communicate with people. There are great things, like, for example, we can talk together. I know. I'm in Ireland, I'm in New York. Yes. Uh, so I can talk on, you know, with my friends and, and, and my clients in, in Chinese yes. or whatever. So this, this, this is great, but it's a new way to communicate. Yeah, it's almost like, as you said, we can create a brand new aligned version of ourselves. We can give ourselves the permission to start again, which is wonderful. And yes. just to wrap up, if, talking about the permission to start again, if you were going to talk to a younger version of you when you were, maybe when you were doing the... Um, the horse riding, you know, and, and the questionism, and you were going to whisper two or three words of wisdom to a younger version of you to, to ensure that you were fully aligned in the future. What two or three words of wisdom would you tell yourself? I think I would say that uh, follow your dream and, and don't compromise with that. Yes. Uh, so listen to yourself, listen, listen to your intuition and go in your journey uh, with uh, confidence, with yes. faith and confidence that, you know, you're going to evolve and, okay, and things are going to happen to make you be who you want to be, who, who you, you meant to be. Not you're meant to be, the, yes. ali the aligned version of yourselves. Now, that's wonderful. And I've really enjoyed this conversation. And how do people find out more about you and your work and the book? Thank you for asking. Uh, so I have my LinkedIn uh, and I have a, a website to my name. So it's hortenselegentil.com yeah. dot, uh, dot yes. uh, and I have the book aligned so that you can find uh, on Amazon everywhere on, uh, yes. on, in the world. So, yeah. and what else? And ask Marshall. <laughs> That's plenty, ask Marshall. That's perfect. <laughs> Well, it's been wonderful talking to you and I know you, you and I are going to continue to be aligned with Marshall Goldsmith and I'd love to continue keep in touch and yeah, I'm actually too. involved, I'm creating a couple of, you know, really important projects. So we may talk again and, uh, and thanks, thanks very much. It's been great talking to you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.